Good morning everyone. We're back up here at this property we bought, the 17 acres. It's an old homestead from the 1850s. My mom and dad, they're down at the lighter knot shack. The, um, they're either cleaning up or doing something down there. I don't know exactly what they're doing. But I'm up here. I want to talk a little bit about this uh, solar panels and electrical system that we installed here. This video is mostly going to be about our setup and how we're getting power here at this property. It's not going to be 100% off-grid. I mean, though, that I would love that. But as of right now, there is... We're not using any of that power over there. We're using the solar panels as of this moment. I don't know how long that will take us, and we're not up here full-time yet. We're, we're going to wait on that and see how that goes. But we got three solar panels... We put these three panels together on these, these boards here. And originally our thought was going to, it was going to go up on the roof. But we couldn't get up on the roof right now and couldn't do that. So we just mounted it here and I thought it looked kind of cool. It's kind of like a little... Uh, I'm drawing a blank here. What's the word I'm looking for? I thought it looked kind of cool all the way across the front right here because the sun comes in from right over here in the mornings and it just stays right up through here. We might have to top out a couple of the trees, but the sun shines right here on this front porch. And we thought, you know, might as well just put it on the front porch and have railings. That's the word I'm looking for, railings. We'll put like a railing on top of it after we make it go across the front. That's the modern part of the homestead or the cabin inside or right behind the solar panels here we got our eco worthy combiner box the inside of this how it's set up this is like your main power we wired it up down here at the bottom for your positive and your um, neutral so and your ground he just got back here at the back and it goes up here. We grounded it up here on this. We still have to put in a ground fault, which is right here. I hope the lighting's perfect. This is the ground fault uh, ground wire we're going to use. I did not bring my post hole. Um, what, the, what are they called? The knockers? Yeah. It um, helps you knock in the post hold, or the posts, helps you knock those in. So I didn't bring those today, but next weekend when we come back up here, we're, we'll put the ground in and we'll um, ground this whole system. But that system I showed you earlier, if you're putting it on a 12 volt, uh, like a RV or like converting over a van that's got work he he's got this van with solar panels on top if you're converting all this over to a 12 volt system you want to ground it to your chassis or wherever your um, vehicle is grounded so but this we're going to ground it to a, a ground fault which is in the earth so we'll find somewhere over beside the cabin and just put that in next weekend not going to be on this video it'll be on probably one of the next videos because that's going to be a job in itself but that's what's inside here it's just really simple setup you just put we're just using a regular electrical wire and adjusted it in here now this is a little hot so i'm not going to touch much in anything in here because i don't feel like getting popped but like i said ground goes there and there's your neutral and positive wires it's got six ports down here from uh, your positive and negative that's coming out of your solar panel and you hook up to this box. I ran this into the cabin. I hope you guys can see in here. It's a little bit dark, but lighting's not all too terrible. But here's our two batteries. And here's the, 
our little setup that I made about maybe about six months ago. I made this. Got our power inverter, which gives you your AC power. And this right down here is your where you get your DC power from your batteries for your 12 volt systems. Since this is going to be in the house, mounted somewhere, we're gonna. It's not going to be in here all the time. We're gonna make like a outside solar panel area for all of our inverters for our solar panels for all of our electrical stuff and our electrical needs will be outside but as of right now we just wanted to put it in here we're still getting used to the area so we don't know it how the the crime is up here so we wanted to just get to know everything first and then have this set up here but as you can see it is pulling if you can see it 14.5 volts from the electrical panels outside so that's where our line comes in from our solar panels into the charge controller right here later on I'm gonna get a bigger charge controller this setup is not mine this is my dad's setup he's just letting me use it if you want to use your DC power see I done wired all this up from my batteries I hooked my batteries together and put all my negative where my negative is supposed to be and I'm positive I ran my positive wire over to this uh, breaker here it's a 200 amp breaker and it'll trip if something goes wrong this will give off my from the power to this this is your positive I hooked it up to each one of them I hooked it up to a switch my negatives are right here and each one of these are powering one of these 12 volt lights I hooked that up in a earlier video but my batteries kept dying I don't know if you if anybody else has the problem with colder weather and their batteries to their equipment keeps dying well it happened up here it was cold that day and it just the batteries would not last at all it just kept freezing up shutting off and I couldn't film no more than five minutes so but I'll show you this I'm gonna flip the switch this one is to the one down here we'll flip it and the light come on that is the 12 volt light for down here it may not look like much in the daytime but at night 12 volt light can actually put out a little bit of light for you and I got one for this other one for upstairs I mean, as you can see, it's not really putting out a bunch of light. But you can see up here a little bit better with the light on. So, it gives you just a little bit of light. We are going to run electricity. You can I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a light fixture like right I don't know if you see my hand, but it's like right there. But we are going to work on this and get everything back the way it, that the people who, oh, you guys can't see me, that the people who originally built this would look outside and say, oh my God, it's an old homestead, it's an old cabin homestead. That's awesome. We've done some cleaning up in this room over here. My parents have put, it was warm in here, have put, cleaned up a lot. The bookcase is cleaned up and just a mess in here but we're going to clean everything up it was raining the last time we was up here filling up the dumpster my parents they filled up a bunch of it and my aunt in this video she put together this generator this is another form of power that we're going to have up here for right now it's just something we thought we needed and we needed power up here to power up our power tools when we're working and this light is also powered by our system out here our little solar system i'll turn on my power inverter here let's turn this on and that's that comes on tells us that how many amperages 
is it, it's putting out. And in, in here, as you can see, our light came on. It converted the two batteries we got over to 110 volts to power this. That's our AC power. It don't last too long. You have to have more batteries to add to your system, but they do cost a little bit. I mean, they're marine batteries, but if you put them in series and enough solar panels and enough batteries, you're going to have a good bit of power. But you'll see this working later on in this video. It's kind of weird. I'll, this that's happening right now of me talking is actually after the footage that you're about to see of my aunt putting that together. Well, folks, here we are at the, uh, at the land again this morning. It's me, my wife, and my sister. We're up here cleaning it up a little bit more. And we unboxing the generator. We need it to run the coffee maker and stuff like that. And uh, they, they fixed to put it together. I'm still down in the back, so... They'll be they'll be doing this, and they start to take it out of the box and put it together. We started to get a smaller one, but they said it wouldn't run everything we needed to run, so we got that one. I think they are. Is there a, yeah. You sure? Yeah. I don't know. I'm catching a cramp and it ain't the right one. Oh God. I need the same bolt for them. <laughs> well, sorry. I need the same bolt. <laughs> uh, no, oh. no, uh, oh. this no here, no, no. This, mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, all right. Caught me a little there. Oh God. You need to stand up for a little while. I'm gonna take a break. Take oh, a break. No, we have to go. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta get that, that flat one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Oh god. It caught me right right in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> my family. Oh god. Do this. Dad, check it. I, I wish I could get down there and do it. I wish I could. I'm telling you now, Dad will be like, don't let her do it. <laughs> Dad's going to be proud of you when he sees you on YouTube. He's going to be proud of you. No, he's going to think you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> be like, why did you let her do that? Hey, make sure it don't fall apart. I said, Dad, I got a backache. He wished he was here, wouldn't he? Yeah. So you can play. God, I ain't know my right tie from my lefty Lucy over here. <laughs> I've heard this one. It doesn't make a difference. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all coming back. Yep. 
All right, we done got one on. Crank her up. Okay, now we got to put the handles on. Just think of the results right after. Why this thing's running. I hope that gallon of gas will run that coffee maker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're well, doing this for coffee. <laughs> yeah. Then you want a cup of coffee. I gotta change the filter out. You know, you don't want that high test. No. Yeah, we had that thing all set up and then we didn't have enough power to do it. Put it all in there. More. Now we'll see what we got. Yeah. Yeah, I see it right there, don't you? Yep. Or is it just the... Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so we good. Yep. Alright. <coughs> Alright, gassing it up. So we can see if it's going to work. We don't have one gallon to run. But we had to get some more gas. Next time we come up. I hope it don't take a whole gallon just to run a coffee pot. Well, well I hope not. <laughs> But, you know, we'll put it all in there and it'll, we'll see what we can do with it. We got water to wash my hands. Yeah, 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 we got little bottles of water. Yeah, that's another project we got to start doing too, you know, uh, get the water run from the creek. From the, the, the pump. I hope Jimbo can come up to see tomorrow evening. He can help, you know, put that other heavy stuff in there. Got the lights running. Got the coffee brewing. Dad be proud of you. Didn't tear nothing up. <laughs> you, remember, you remember his ornament, ornament on his on his hood? <laughs> what is this, Dad? I threw it in the woods. Yep. Don't know. And then you told us. <laughs> yeah, I said. Yeah, I did. I did. I said, I said Dad, the woods. Dad, she broke it off and threw it in the woods. I said, Spring was rusty anyway. So, you threw it in the woods? <laughs> he said, I'll try to get rid of the evidence. All right. <laughs> A cup of coffee. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting there drinking a cup of coffee in a tiny house. Well, cabin. Coffee maker working. Got the lights working. With a generator. 
took a day off. Yep, that is good. This is a lot of second round. That's right. Yep. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot more of that. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we're definitely. Well, folks, we're going to wrap, wrap this day up. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, the other one fell out. God Almighty. <laughs> oh, I got this time. Oh, God. <laughs> Glenn, you're about to be doing this crap. Oh, my, oh, oh God. my God. Oh, my back's killing me. Oh, shoot, that hurt. <laughs> Don't play a thing right there. Where's the hole? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm Where'd the wind fall down? I don't know. I saw the person moving. Air pushed my blood or something. <laughs> Wee doggies. I'm going to be brave this time. Oh, shoot. That's supposed to be snow furs up here tomorrow. Hit your finger again? No, I hit the top of the <laughs> thing every time. He should have been letting you do it. Sure. You know? Yeah, you see why. Let me move that junk, baby. No, oh, I'm sweating, y'all. It's hot in here. I think you're doing good. Too you're doing really good. Are you measuring something? 
Uh, Are we not caring if it's crooked? No. I know you are. You're doing good. Yes, you are. You know, I thought the asthma might be kicking in or something. Okay, it's beautiful. It looks good, Julie. You done real good. Mm -hmm. Crooked. You done. I don't know what. It's crooked. The whole house is crooked. <laughs> <laughs> A 1700s house. Let me sit down. Well, you did good, Drew. You did real good. How do you feel about you? I feel accomplished. Yes. I hurt my thumb, but that's okay. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's see. <laughs> You're breaking a sweat, wouldn't you? I <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's warm in there. <laughs> <laughs> the more you move, the more it kicks in. Oh, you move, had to put all this at the end for uh, what is it, comedy or bloopers? How come I'm in all the bloopers? <laughs> <laughs> I see a pattern. Uh, no, it's, it's what is it not fun? It's fun. It's fun. She start beating on some dirt, falling her hair. Oh, she, right. she, she, yeah. Watch my butt. <laughs> yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. It's my butt dance. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's all about the solar system today and what we had going on with that and how we're getting power here. But I'd like to take a moment and thank all the new subscribers that subscribed. It really helps us out. It's making our channel grow. As we grow here and doing what we're doing, we're about ready to start our growing season. And in turn, our channel's growing. So hopefully the channel will grow with our growing season. We're going to start our garden soon. And we're going to start growing our animals. I wanted to do pigs this year. I did. But with my current setup, with me being me working in a certain like part of North Carolina and having to travel all the way up here to the mountains of North Carolina it's not feasible right now to have the pigs and my property that I'm at at the moment I don't know if my neighbors would like pigs being there I know there's ways that you can cut down the smell Justin Rhodes has done it on his channel and so is um, Jason from Sow the Land 
he's done the same thing that um, Justin Rhodes done, and he put it, he's only got an acre and a half. He put a little pig shelter, and he kept throwing the, the stuff on it, like the, the hay, the straw, the, the wood chips. going to try to do turkeys this year I'm taking a couple days off of work just so I can get there at southern states or tractor supply when they get there and so I can be one of the first ones to get my at least four or five turkeys we want to raise those where we're at now our um, ducks and finally started laying again we're going to try to incubate some more eggs and probably grow some more ducks sell some few if we can make a little bit of money off of it I'm trying to get into learning how to make knives and how to do that and I just appreciate all you guys taking a chance on us and when we grow our channel we're going to grow with you guys and I do appreciate all the awesome comments this one lady left a comment well, was quite a few people left the comments and they were just amazing I took a screenshot of one because the because up here my service is a little in and out and spotty but we'll look at a couple here if you guys can see that this is from Teresa I hope I'm not butchering your last name but Colcal I hope I said that right let me know in the comments below if I said it wrong but they said they subscribed and said maybe think about making the sheds with doors into a volunteer guest student Airbnb housing there are plenty of people looking for learning experiences and when you get to pr processing meat or veggies you'll need a place for them to stay mossy bottom has some good videos about setting up volunteer experiences. Good luck with this. We'll be looking forward to seeing you develop this channel and property. Now Matt N said, that place is cool. Hope you do some good things for yourselves with it. And Laura Schnell, or Shell, I hope I said that right. Just, just found your channel, looking, looking forward to watching your journey. And as I said before, we are looking forward to growing with you guys. We appreciate you subscribing, it helps us out. We appreciate you liking the videos. It let us it's let meta. It lets us know what videos you like and what videos you don't like. So if you just found this channel by chance in the last couple days, thank you. Um, this this cabin and everything that we found up here would just happen by chance. It was on the market oh my gosh. A month before we got it and someone jumped on it. When they jumped on it, we thought it was out of our reach forever. And it just so happened I was at work one day, I was on my break, and I looked on my phone, and the property said it wasn't pending no more, it was relisted. What had happened, the guy just lost his job, I guess, and I hate that he lost his job. I mean, with all this stuff, there's all this craziness going on right now. I hate that he lost his job, everyone needs a job. But I hate that happened to them. But in turn, with that happening, the property came back up for sale. We made an offer on it, full price, and within a week or two, we closed on it. We moved on it quick. We wanted to get up here, and we just wanted to live our dream. And we're we're doing it. And hopefully, you know, we could turn that into like a B&B &B or something like that that would be nice I can just fix it up and just turn that into something for when we go to process our meat and our veggies we can turn that into a place where we can either like have an outdoor kitchen or we can have a, like a little spot for them to stay when they're up here like I had some people at work say they wanted to see the process of, of going through eviscerating a chicken or a turkey or how do you do it and I, I can only so, show so much on YouTube before I get flagged they got certain things you can and can't show so I got to go by their guidelines and what they said I can show how much I can show but 
with all this, they could come in here and learn and stay like a weekend and they can have some life skills that they can learn from uh, growing a garden and taking the what you sowed from the garden out and, and harvest and just see what and all you do on a homestead, you know? And hopefully one day we'll have goats, pigs, and everything that will make a homestead successful and make it grow and self-sustainable. What we're trying to get to here. And and again, again, I appreciate that comment. That was a very, very good suggestion. Excellent suggestion. I loved it. I didn't think of that when I was going through. I was just thinking about all the stuff that was here and what I could do. And there's a lot of wood up here that I could work with. I could salvage the wood and turn that shack into a spot where, like you said, and that would be amazing. So other than that, I do appreciate everything. Um, I'm happy that you guys subscribed. Stay tuned. There's a lot more coming out. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And we will catch all you guys on the next one. Bye.